Hi guys. It is a lovely uh, Thursday, October 11th, 2012, and uh, this isn't a rat. I just, I just want to send this one out to my, you know, this little, whatever you want to call it. This is one of these crazy hand bone stories. I want to send this out to my dear sweet ex-wife. Uh, and, just, and just tell this story just just for posterity because I just think it's a humorous story it has nothing to do with anything about the collapse of this planet it's just it's just a quick crazy hand bone story so anyway uh, I I have not always been a celibate monk there is actually uh, been periods in my life where I, I, I have actually uh, been with women and I was married for seven years to uh, to my dear sweet ex-wife who shall remain nameless and uh, so we got married in 1983 and the marriage was in pretty bad shape by uh, by 1990 and we were living in Santa Cruz California with our marriage falling apart and uh, it was after this big earthquake, which you might remember the October 17th earthquake. Wow, from 19, it's almost that anniversary. Uh, so my real estate career was in complete shambles. This is when I was working for Century 21 Real Estate and um, being a little yuppie in California. So we, we had this dream that I was going to dump my real estate career and she was going to dump her teaching career and we were going to move from California to this little uh, town in Oregon called Sweet Home, Oregon. <laughs> we, were, we were going to save our marriage in Sweet Home, Oregon. So we quit our jobs and, and load up the U-Haul and moved up there and we bought this old uh, this old farmhouse on 13 acres and I was gonna be an organic farmer yeah yeah right and uh, so it was you know we were going through the deal and stuff so we were actually living in the house for a couple of months while all of this whatever was going on in the real estate transaction so it was just gonna be a cash deal because we had cashed out our house in uh, in Santa Cruz, so we were just going to write a check for the house. It was seventy-nine thousand dollars, and so the uh, so it was Thursday, and I remember calling the seller, and I said, "Well, listen, dude, I've got your seventy-nine thousand dollars. The check is cleared, and I've got the money." And this guy, which he's been kicking himself ever since, he goes, "Well, I'll tell you what, dude, I'll just I, I fly into L.A. tomorrow, and I'll just catch up with you on Monday." and get the money from you then. This was a Thursday, October 10th, uh, 1990. Well, guys, I'm sure this man is still kicking himself about that $79,000. And, and listen, if, if anybody, if you ever receive a call, if you're selling a house or whatever, but if you ever receive a call and there's somebody on the other end of the line saying, dude, I've got $79,000 in cash. Come get it. The response to that question is not, oh, I'll catch up with you on Monday to pick up my seventy-nine grand. then. The response to that is, where are you? I will be right over. But anyway, uh, that was October 10th. Uh, 1990, October 11th, 1990, uh, got up on a Friday morning, and I don't mind saying I, I, uh, the, my last time as a married man, as a matter of fact, the last time as a married man, uh, had sex that morning, and then I was going, uh, I was actually in school learning how to be a farmer in Oregon, uh, the University of Oregon. Uh, I was learning how to be a farmer because I didn't know anything about it. Of course, there was nothing in their curriculum about being an organic farmer. But anyway, so I went off to class uh, learning how to be a farmer. And uh, so that took the whole morning and I got back about lunchtime. 
and there was my dear sweet ex-wife in there. Now, this, this girl was four foot 11. Four foot 11, weighed 88 pounds, and she was a Leo through and through. Well, guys, I was hungry, so I went to make a, uh, I, I, I wanted a ham and cheese sandwich. Okay, so I opened the refrigerator. There, there's plenty of bread in there. There's plenty of cheese. But guys, there's, there's only one piece of ham. So I set about making myself a, a grilled ham and cheese sandwich to enjoy for lunch. My dear sweet ex-wife walks into the kitchen and she sees me making this ham sandwich. And uh, she goes, ham hey, mom, do you mind making me a ham and cheese sandwich? And I said, well, darling, uh, normally I would have no problem with that. But if you see here, we've got plenty of bread, plenty of cheese, but only one piece of ham. I said, I will be glad to make you a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch, but I claim the last piece of ham. I staked my claim. I mean, guys, you know, it was this simple. If I, if, if I had, you know, people suggested to me that what I could have done was cut the piece of ham in half, me taking half the piece of ham and share the other piece of ham with my dear sweet ex-wife. Well, guys, there just wouldn't have been enough ham to make it worthwhile for either of us. So... I don't see that as a proper reaction. I guess my other choice is I could have gotten in my gas-sucking car, gone to the store, bought some more ham, and come back. You know, it's, it was an 18-mile round trip to the store, and I was hungry. So I just claimed the uh, last piece of ham for myself. Well, guys, that was the last uh, claim I made in that marriage uh, and that set off uh, you know so my, my my dear sweet little ex-wife she came up to about a here on me she's it's in my face Heil Hitler Heil Hitler Heil <coughs> Hitler I mean over and over again Heil Hitler <coughs> and I said darling I said I'm not in the mood for it I'm hungry, I'm not in the mood for it. Do you or do you not want a grilled cheese sandwich? Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler. And I said, fine, fine darling, you get the last piece of ham. And she got it. She got to enjoy every damn bite of that last piece of ham. It cost her her husband and it cost her her seven year marriage. But that was it. That was my final straw. That's how I put an end to seven years of marriage. And guys, if, if, if you're in one of these, you know, these sick, twisted relationship, where, where your relationship has gotten to the point with your wife or your husband that the two of you cannot make a sandwich together for lunch without bringing Hitler into the conversation. Maybe, I'm, I'm just throwing it out there, maybe it's time to uh, just, just, just let the ham sandwich go and, and, and call the marriage a wrap, you know. And anyway, for what that's worth, I just wanted to record that story here for posterity. I have no idea where my dear sweet ex-wife is, whether, whether the woman's dead or alive. Uh, I hope she's still alive. I got nothing against the woman. I hope, darling, if you're listening, uh, something tells me you're no longer, that you're not 
living in a uh, 150 square foot trailer with no plumbing. So the marriage probably wouldn't have worked out anyway. So uh, enough of that. I'm gonna say bye guys.